What is it, Jericho? What you got? What is it? What is it? And again, of course, Jericho is going to want to jump inside and inspect. Cats love boxes. That's just the way it is. So here's our brand new scratching post all set up. Get it, Jericho. Hey, friends, it's Justin Jericho, and we're going to show you how to put together this scratching post and how to get your cat to use it. So the first tip that I have for you for setting up your post to get your cat to scratch on it, put it next to your cat's current scratching post. So this is Jericho's current scratching post. You can see it's been through better days. <laughs> I used one of these rugs as the, the scratching area, but it's all scratched up to shreds. So I bought this new one. This is Sizal Fabric. And I just set it up. So I'm gonna set it up next to his current scratcher. That way he associates it with his current scratcher. If this is the first scratcher that you've ever purchased, just put it in the, in the area that's away from the wall and just kind of safe and, and open for your cat. Like over here, I have Jericho's activity rugs and his toys. It's a good distance away from the wall. It's open, easy, accessible. That way you're kind of inviting your cat to use it and helping him realize that it's part of his stuff and his territory. The next tip I have for getting your cat to use the scratcher is to tease toys on the scratcher. This will get your cat motivated to play. Get it, Jericho. Get it. Get that scratcher. Get that scratcher. Get it, Jericho. Get it. <laughs> well, that worked right away, huh, Jericho? Just kind of tease the toy up and down or you can tease it around the scratcher. The third tip that I have for you to get your cat to scratch, you can use some catnip, catnip powder. And if your cat doesn't like catnip, you can try silver vine. Jericho loves silver vine, as you can see. Um, he, a lot of more cat, cats prefer silver vine compared to catnip. Jericho loves it. So you can just take a little bit and kind of sprinkle it on the post. <laughs> he's like, give me the whole thing. Oh, he's trying to rub on the can. Come over here, Jericho. <laughs> he's putting his whole face in it. So I put a little dash right there. Look, Jericho. Right here. He's rubbing on the floor. There we go. Right here. So that'll help your cat associate the scratcher with a positive experience, get him rubbing, and then get him in a playful mood, and then he'll start scratching. Plus, rubbing on the scratching post like this, he's releasing his scent glands, his scents through his glands on his face. So that's kind of what cats do to mark their territory. Like when they rub on you, they're trying to put their scent on you so that they remember you. And they do that with their stuff and their cat scratcher. So that's good to help him associate the scratcher as something that's his, his territory. Right, Jericho? Oh, there you go. He loves it. The next thing that you could do to get your cat to scratch is just kind of scratch on it yourself. Jericho's gonna be preoccupied, but this might help. Jericho's pretty easygoing when it comes to cat stuff. He's very smart because I play with him a lot, so he recognizes cat stuff as his. But you need to keep teach your cat how to use this stuff because we know what it is, but they might not. Thanks for watching.